Hi, this is a walkthrough for creating rail replication inside of a Word document. In this example, we have an account record with several calls in the related object called calls that we want to merge into our document. We can do this with rail replication. To begin, select the DDPs tab, choose a DDP, and ensure that there is a basic relationship between the call and account object with a copy type of row. For more information on a basic relationship, please refer to the relationship section of the support site. Next, we must open the field tagger and ensure that Word is selected in the document type dropdown. Then we must access our Word file. Once our Word file is open, we must insert at least a one cell table into the document. For this example, we're going to insert a 3 by 2 table where the top row is going to be for the headers and the second row is going to be for the call information. The first thing we'll need from our field tagger is a replicate row tag. Choose the call object and the replicate row field. This will produce the start tag. Next, we must grab each field from our related object as necessary. For our example, we're going to include the call name, call type, and the call duration. Once you finish tagging your table, you can save your document and either upload it or replace it inside of Salesforce. Next, you can test it by navigating to a record on your DDP object, selecting the Loop Plus button, selecting a contact if necessary with a DDP and a delivery option, and choosing Run. If the document is tagged correctly and the basic relationship is set up properly, we should receive a row of data for each call in our account record. And now that we've opened up the Word document, we can confirm that all calls were merged into the table. And that is how you create row replication within a Word document. Thank you. Hi. This is a walkthrough for creating table replication inside of a Word document. In this example, we have an account record with several calls related to it in the call object. To begin, we must select the DDPs tab, choose the DDP, and ensure a basic relationship exists between the call and account object with the copy type of table. For more information about a basic relationship, please refer to the relationship section of our support site. Next, we must open up the field tagger, choose Word as a document type, and access our Word document. Once the Word document is open, we must insert a table into the document. This table must be at least one cell, but can have several cells. We're going to have the field labels on the left side, and the field tags on the right side. The first thing we'll need from our field tagger is a table replication tag. So for our example, we must select the call object, choose a replicate table tag, and insert it at the beginning of our table. Next, we must grab each tag that needs to be used within that table. And if we set this up properly, the next time we run this DDP, a new table will be created for each call record within the account. Once we are done tagging our document, we must save it and either upload or replace it within Salesforce.
Once the document's been replaced, we can test it from our record on our DDP object by pushing the Loop Plus button, choosing a contact if necessary, selecting the DDP and delivery option, and choosing Run. Once the document is completed, you can open it up and confirm that a new table was created for each call in the account record. And as you can see, a new table was in fact created for each call in the account record. And that is how you replicate tables inside of a Word document. Thank you. Hi, this is a walkthrough for creating table and row replication within Word. In this example, we're going to want to create a new table for each call within the account record. And then with each table for a call record, we want to create a new row for each discussion related to a call record. So essentially, we'll be going two levels deep with table and row replication. We must choose a DDP and ensure that there is a basic relationship between the call and account with a copy type of table and another basic relationship between discussion and call with a copy type of row. For more information about basic relationships, please refer to the relationship section of our support page. Next, we must open up the field tagger and ensure that Word is selected as a document type. Next, we must access our document. We're going to be building upon the table that we use in the table replication video. So adding on to this table, we're just going to insert a couple of rows one row for headers and one row for tags. And these rows are going to bring in our discussion records. The first field that will be brought in is going to be the discussion. And the next field is going to be the created date. So we know when the discussion was created. Since the table replication is already set up for the call records, we must set up the discussion tags. First we'll need the replicate row tag from the discussion object and insert it into the first row for the discussion tags. Next we'll need tags for the discussion name and the discussion created date. Now that we've tagged our table properly, we can save it and either upload it or replace it within Salesforce. Once the document has been saved inside Salesforce, we can then run the DDP from a test record on the main object of the DDP. Once the document is produced, we should have a new table for each call record related to the account and several rows for the discussions related to each call. Once our document is completed, we can download it to our desktop, open it up, and confirm that the table and row replication occurred. As you can see, a new table was created for each call, and several discussions that were related to each call were inserted in different rows. And that is how you create table and row replication within Word. Thank you.